welcome to AISD TV News for the week of March 4th. I'm Jesse King. And I'm Anna Hernandez. We start off with a photo submission from our furthest north campus, Ellis Elementary. Here is the Ellis Student Council member represented by students in the third grade through the sixth grade. They wear uniform t-shirts to show their allegiance to their school and the great things that happen at their school daily. The Webb Elementary Wallaby Steppers won first place at the sixth annual Helping Youth Prepare for Excellence Showcase. The Wallabies brought awareness to childhood obesity and anti-bullying to the stage. Step team sponsor and fourth grade teacher, Ms. Carlisle, said that she was very proud of their hard work, determination, and perseverance. Congratulations, Wallaby Steppers. Reading Rocks at Crouch Elementary. Over 70 people turned out this Monday morning to read to 1,000 students. The readers were made up from volunteers from the city, school district, and community. Superintendent Dr. Marcelo Carvasos, school board members Gloria Pena and Tony Pompa, fellow principals Shane Nelson from Hale Elementary, Larry Beaver from Barry Elementary, and area superintendent Michelle Wilmoth Nato were just a few of the readers that showed up to support Reading Rocks at Crouch Elementary. March 2nd was Dr. Seuss's birthday. Over at Atherton Elementary, AISD employees, students, and community members read to classes to celebrate Read Across America and Dr. Seuss Day. The Sam Houston High School baseball team, pictured in front, also helped out reading to Atherton students. Also pictured left to right is Diana Hamilton from State Farm Insurance, Arlington Police Officer Delgado, Atherton students Courtney Kennedy and Jemaya, Principal Stephanie Hawthorne, Board of Trustee Gloria Pena, Superintendent Dr. Marcelo Cavazos, Language Arts Instructional Coach Marion Bennett, Librarian Luther Cobby, and Arlington Public Librarian Kristen Williams. Also celebrating Dr. Seuss Day was Foster Elementary. Superintendent Dr. Cavazos also managed to make it over to read to some second grade students. Here the students are preparing for the annual Dr. Seuss Parade. During Fitzgerald Elementary's Family Fitness Wellness Night, students and their families visited 17 physical activity and health stations to raise awareness of the importance of being active and having proper nutrition. The activity stations were run by Fitzgerald PE ambassadors and the nutrition and health stations were presented by various businesses in the community. Fun and educational, a winning combination. Barry Elementary Pre-K had a great week where they learned science of volcanoes in Mrs. Brennan's class. Ms. Trixie Gehring's classroom participated in a sing-along activity at Zone for Kids. Bowie High School is one of only nine schools across the nation that has implemented an African-American male initiative through the AVID Center. Bowie and the AVID Center are using culturally relevant teaching strategies to engage all learners and to increase their access to success in advanced placement courses. A group of the Bowie High School students and their teachers recently presented a session at Southwestern Regional College Board Conference in Dallas. Now we go to a report from Sarah Rothschild. We're here at Pappy Elkins Lake with 7th grade science students at Bailey Junior High. Let's go talk to them to figure out what they're researching. Students at Bailey Junior High are investigating Pappy Elkins Lake to determine the quality of the water running near their school. Through the GM Global Rivers Environmental Education Network, also known as GREEN program, and facilitated by the River Legacy Foundation, the students are able to take their learning out into a local water source. The GREEN program, run by national nonprofit Earth Force, inspires youth to be active in their communities and learn more about the complexities of watershed issues. I'm here with Naeem and Shawama and what are y'all doing over here? We are testing to see if the water has anything harmful to people or animals. Well um, we're testing the water to see if there's stuff in it, how polluted it is, stuff like that. Um, this sample right here is stuff we took from the water. We're testing if there's like any uh, fecal matter in it and stuff like that. Are y'all having fun out here? Yes, it's, it's very cold. <laughs> yes, it is very cold. Did you guys find something? Yes, we yes. did. We don't know what it is yet. We'll go look it up. There's a little worm. And then I know that someone found another bug over there a minute ago, and he just identified it, too. Yeah. Wow. It's neat. I'm with Carson and Lucas of Group 2, and we're looking at some of their research. What have you guys found out? Um, we got one sample of the water here, and uh, we found out that um, it's very clean water and um, it's very natural. The environment is good here for all the animals and the plants. How do you 
make these tests? How do you find the results? Um, we have some test tubes and tablets that um, we got one sample of the water and we put each test tube in the water uh, at a certain amount of water and we have been we put the tablet in there and usually it's a color that it shows uh, how much of something is in the water. Are you guys having fun out here? Yes. yes. Do you think this is a great experiment to do to help you in your classwork? Yes, it is. Oh, but out here in the cold, <laughs> um, in the classroom, better. It is quite cold out here, but thank you guys so much. Reporting for AISD TV News, I'm Sarah Rothschild. Thanks, Sarah. ASD social workers from throughout the Arlington School District gathered for a luncheon at Mercado Juarez in celebration of Social Work Month. March is National Professional Social Work Month and this year's theme, Weaving Threads of Resilience and Advocacy. Thanks to all of our social workers for the great work you do for our school district. Miller Elementary School participated in a school-wide fundraiser, Pasta for Pennies, for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society teamed up with Olive Garden in order to create this wonderful fundraiser for the patients of blood cancers. Pasta for Pennies asked the students to collect and donate loose change. Miller's Marvelous Mavs Council and their sponsors, Ms. Christina Hall and Ms. Tina McFadden, were in charge of collecting, counting, and keeping track of all the change, dollars, and checks brought into by the school, as well as online donations. Each classroom had their own can to collect the loose change, and each student had their own penny box to take home. The classroom that collected the most after a three-week period earned a pasta party from Olive Garden. The students at Miller overexceeded their goal of $1,500 and brought in a whopping $5,333. The Marvelous Mavs Council is really proud of their school for donating so much and helping out young blood cancer patients. So? So what? Who won the pasta party? Oh, oh, okay, um, let me see. It was, uh, it was Miss Sands, sixth grade class. They had a total of $486.56 in donations. Great job, Melema Elementary. Martin High School students Paige Roper, who is a junior, and her sister Morgan, a sophomore, created signs that they used in Austin for the Save Texas School Rally. The two sisters, along with thousands of concerned Texans, showed up on the south steps at the Texas State Capitol on February 23rd to stand up for quality education for all Texas students. Paige and Morgan had a great time participating and also helped babysit the younger children of the parents who were marching. And now it's time for sports with Sam Weiger. This is AISD TV Sports, and we have sad news to report. The two remaining men's basketball teams were knocked off last week. Let's start with Seguin. They played Dallas Kimball for the Class 4A Region 2 Final on Saturday. Seguin led by the end of the third quarter by five, but Kimball came back in the fourth quarter, putting up 14 points to win by two. Final score, Dallas Kimball 54, Seguin 52. Congratulations to a great season to Coach Thigpen and his Cougars. Martin men's basketball team slipped by El Paso Bel Air, winning by two points, but couldn't stop South Grand Prairie at the Class 5A Region 1 semifinal match. Martin ends their season losing to South Grand Prairie 56-28. Martin Warriors and coach Jeff Plemons had a great season going four deep in the playoffs. Now soccer, girls 3-5A, Arlington Lady Colts is your leader with an 8-1 record in district play, with 24 points followed by Martin, Forward Pascal, Lamar, and Weatherford. In 3-5A boys soccer, Sam Houston beat up on North Crowley winning 4 to zip last Friday to remain on top of the standings with 24 points. In soccer, you get 3 points for a regulation win, 2 points for a shootout win, and 1 point for a shootout loss. In softball, District 15-4A, Seguin beat Mansfield Lake Ridge 7-5 for their first district game. In baseball, Seguin will play their first district game against Ennis on Tuesday. Softball 3-5A, teams getting their first win is Weatherford, Martin, Pascal, and North Crowley. In 3-5A, baseball district play begins Tuesday. Those matchups are Arlington at Martin, Bowie at Weatherford, Sam Houston at Fort Worth Pascal, and Lamar is at North Crowley. One more thing, and it's sort of sports related because she plays soccer. Mar Ramirez, will you go to prom with me? That's it for sports. I'm Sam Wager for AISD TV Sports, and I hope to see you in the stands. Thanks, Sam. 
we would like to recognize some of our Teachers of the Year that we started last newscast, so here goes with part two. From Bowie High School was Shao Law, an American Sign Language teacher, Melody Riney, business teacher at Lamar High School, Kathy Meyer, Martin High School chemistry teacher, from Arjuna High School's Wilson Rubin, who teaches at Barnett, English and theater teacher Kevin Paris at Bowles Junior High, Alzi Junior High School avid teacher Vonda Sherrod, Michael Allen, who teaches science at Shackleford Junior High, art teacher Karen Arakovich, or Miss E as she is called at Ashworth Elementary, Megan Hearn, who teaches kindergarten students at Bevency Elementary, Lisa Gordon over at Bryant Elementary teaches fifth grade, Laura Weiss at Butler Elementary, also was named Teacher of the Year. And we also have Lisa Gleason at Corey Elementary. Congratulations, teachers, for being named Teacher of the Year. Next week, the AISD will be out for spring break. Yes! I know both staff and students are ready for that. <laughs> Plus, on Sunday morning, March 10th at 2 a.m. begins daylight saving time. That means we spring forward an hour. What is an hour of sleep, you mean? Well, you have a whole week to get used to the time change. Not gonna help. Well, that's all the time we have for you today. For AISD TV, I'm Jesse King. And for Sam Wagger, I'm Anna Hernandez, hoping you have a great spring break.